classroom, Richard Curtis. Yeah, I'm doing. Are you ready to go? Yes, Tiana. My God, good to see you guys, teachers. That was the coolest way I've ever seen, Mr. Davis. That was awesome. And for you guys at home, welcome into the show. Today, how about this? I have three bright-minded students who are ready to tell their teachers they're smarter than them. They're from Motivation High School in Southwest Philadelphia, and they are now officially on the show, The Classroom, the show that pits students against their favorite teachers. Hey, I am so excited to do this. Look at this cheering section. They are loud, they are proud. And they know what's on the line is $500 in a huge check. We all want it, but who's going to get it? Teachers or students? Let's find out. <laughs> Grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Each correct answer will be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until your name is called to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team can buzz in and will have a chance to steal. This today, we have three seniors versus basically the English department. So, we're hoping for a lot of math questions for these kids. All right, let's jump right into it. Pop quiz starts now. What two letters are used for the abbreviation for the state of Missouri? Mr. Corbett. M O. M O is correct. On the show, American Dad, Stan, Francine, Steve, and Haley are all share what last name? Mr. Davis. Smith. Smith is right. That's clearly your favorite show. Jolly Jack, Jollyful Jumps. Joyfully Jumps is an example of what literacy device in which a series of words begin with the same consonant sound? Mr. Davis. Alliteration. Alliteration. How about that English question? Extra credit question. You guys can jump right back into this game right here. What is the name of the Star Wars droid who tags along with Luke and only communicates with beeps and squeals? Mr. Jackson. R2-D2. R2-D2 is right. What liquid is called the universal solvent because it dissolves more substances than any other solvent? The answer there was water. How about that fun fact? In the NHL, the Coyotes represent what U.S. state? Mr. Davis. Arizona. Arizona's good. The famous series of fortifications collectively referred to as the Great Wall can be found in what country? Mr. Jackson. China. China is right. Students, let's get you guys going here. Come on now. What type of animals create a dawn chorus? Mr. Corbett. Roosters. Incorrect. Free guess here if you guys want it. Dawn chorus. <laughs> the answer was birds is what we were looking for. You went a little bit too specific there, Mr. Corbett. But how about that one? That is it for the round of pop quiz. We are at the end of that one. Teachers, 70 points on the board. Students, like usual, are late to class, but we all know when they do show up, they're always ready to go in class. And I tell you what, we have some awesome students and teachers today from Motivation High School in Southwest Philly. They have the coolest mascot, the Jaguar. It's mean, it's green. What do you say we meet our teams? I'm Mike Well. Um, I'm a senior, and I'm the captain of the basketball team. My name's Tiana. I'm a senior, and I'm the uh, girls basketball manager. Hello, my name is Abdul Barry, and I'm the president of the Hana Society at my school. Hello, my name is Mr. Sheldon K. Jackson. K stands for knowledgeable, a.k.a. Mr. Milk Dud Egg, a.k.a. Mr. Clean. I teach high school English. What up? My name is Adam Davis. I teach history and literature and coach the debate team. I'm 23 years young, and yesterday I drank 13 cups of coffee. My name is Noah Corbett, and I teach English and coach the Slam Poetry team. Okay, how about these teams? I got two good things of news right here. First one, Mr. Corbett, we are going to award you the points on Don Chorus and the Rooster. That gets you up to 80 points. No switch there, but I got to ask Mr. Jackson, did you say Milk Dud Head? Milk Dud Head, yes. Did somebody give you that nickname? Um, amongst other things, yes, yes, yes. It's, it's going around the school. Well, I heard the AK. There was a few in there that I really yes, liked. Mr. All right, Clean well, listen, well. you have a lot of personalities. Hopefully none of them end up in detention. Put your buzzers down. You'll work together on this one. This is how detention works. I will give one team a category. As a team, you will have 10 seconds to decide if you want to play or pass. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the other team to detention. If you get it wrong, the other team can send one of you. If you 
pass. The other team has to answer the question, and the same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone from the other team to detention will win 40 points. Okay, here we go. Students, we're jumping right into this one. You guys ready to roll here? Category is chemistry, guys. Pass or play on chemistry. Okay. We're going to pass chemistry. Three English teachers. This could be a good move here. The mass number or atomic mass number is the total number of protons and what other subatomic particle? Neutrons. Neutrons. We're going to say neutrons. Neutrons is right. And that pass hurt you guys there. Tough break. And you guys all knew that answer as well. But how about it? Teachers, you get to send one of these students to detention. Who's that going to be? Wiley. Michael. Uh, Mike Well. <laughs> Mike Well, our 12th grader out of the game. Team captain. No longer. Mike Well, I feel like they've been wanting to do that for a very long time. You are enjoying detention. You sit right there. And teachers, here's your category. Is history. Nice. You're gonna take it? Oh, yes, we will. I just like looking at you for a little bit. I thought we were just falling in love with each other in each other's eyes there. Here we go. What circular building in Rome with a round hole in the center of its dome to let sunlight in is one of the best preserved monuments of ancient Rome? No, that's uh, it's Greece. Colosseum. The Colosseum? Incorrect. I did hear Mr. Corbett say Pantheon, which was the right answer, but he did not get it in there. This could be the swing the students needed right here. This could be it. Tiana Abdul, who are you going to send in detention? Uh, we're going to send Mr. Mr. Davis. Davis. Mr. Davis, out of there. He's 23, and he's tearing up the teaching game. The trash talk continues. Here we go. We bow back to the students here. With category of celebrities. Oh, we're take okay. it. Oh, we're take it. You're gonna take it? Destiny Hope is the birth name of what American actress and singer? Mm -hmm. Need an answer, guys? Uh, Sorry, nothing in there. We're looking for Miley Cyrus is oh. Destiny Hope right there. That one hurts the students. We swing the pendulum again. Teachers, who's going to detention? Tiana or Abdul? Let's go, Abdul. Abdul. See you. See you. Sorry, man, you're out of this game, too. And we are down to our final. Tiana, you hold it down for the students, but the category is not yours. We go over to teachers, which is on the state. Yeah, we'll take we'll it. Play it. Hey, we'll take play it. In what year did the September 11th attacks on the U.S. happen? 2001. 2001? 2001 is right. Tiana, you are off to detention. I hate to do that to you. Mr. Davis, you are free to go. Come on back here and join the team. How about it? Well, I'll tell you what. These guys get some points added to their score, but find your crowds and put your thinking cap on because we are hitting the easel when we come back. you guys right now this school has spirit am i right or what hey it doesn't matter who wins this game everyone is going to be going bananas for years to come because this is what i'm talking about this is just good culture for a school right here i'll tell you what you guys have our class at your school we do on mine and that's where we're headed next <laughs> Feeling the energy out there today. I love it. All right, here's how this game will work. Each team selected one player to draw. The trailing team's going to go first. Students, I have you guys up here with me now. Now, you're going to select a word, Mike Well, with a word or a phrase hidden on the inside here. You're going to have five seconds to draw, and your teammates will have ten seconds to talk about it. Come up with one correct answer. You get it right, 30 points. If your team misses it, I'm going to give you two more tries. 
but the points will decrease. So, is it red or is it blue? I'm going with blue. You're gonna go with blue? All right, you stand back here. Match your sneakers, man. Looking good today. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you look at that, got it? Mm -hmm. All right, yeah. I'm gonna take this back. You grab a marker, and when I say go, you have five seconds to wreck it. Here we go, and go. All right, stop right there. Ooh. Okay, this could go. Let's see how they do. You got 10 seconds. Talk it, talk it through. <laughs> talk to each other. Abdul, Chiana, what are we seeing here? I see the audience shaking their head. They're liking it. Answer, guys. Frame. We're going to spin this back around, and you have five more seconds. Starts now. You can add to it. He can go complete. Ooh. I think he just did it. I think he just did it. Are you ready? This could be it, Mike. Well, let's see how they do here. A window. A window? Okay, we're getting closer. We're going to spin this back around. You have 10 seconds to finish it. Go ahead. Now, work, you guys. Got to see what around it here. Tiana, how are you in our class? You pretty good? <laughs> well, that's exactly why you're sitting there, huh? Okay, stop right there. You ready? What are we looking at, students? Curtains. Curtains is what we're looking for. You guys got those points on the board. You break the goose egg. Mike, well, nice done on your artistry there. Mr. Corbett, you're up here next. Mike, well, you can head back over there. I'm going to give you this, Mr. Corbett. You look at your card right back here. You're going to have five seconds to draw your photo. You ready? Here we go. Grab a marker. Starts right now. It's a quick five seconds here. What can he get done? Wow! Apparently, a lot. Bear. Um, let me see. Mickey Mouse. Uh, a mouse. Teddy bear. Okay. Answer. This is going to a teddy bear. Teddy bear. Incorrect. Grab the pen. Five seconds. Starts right now. He's allowed to add to it, or you can start something completely new here. <laughs> wow. You're actually a pretty good artist here. Thanks. <laughs> Almost too good of an artist. A raccoon. A raccoon? There it is! I'm telling you, this was almost too good of a drawing right here, Mr. Corbett. This is excellent work out of you. That's going to get you guys 20 points on the round. Now, before we go to break, we have 140 points for the teachers, 10 points for the students. But the students have a lot of points left to grab here. So we're going to start. We're going to join that hill. Walk up it. It's extra credit time. Woo! I'm going to ask one extra credit question. Both teams will have one minute during the commercial break to write down their answer. If you get it correct here, it's 10 points added to your score. Here's your question today. What branch of mathematics uses letters and symbols to represent numbers and quantities? How about you at home? Do you know that one? That's a tough math question. I'm going to give you this answer when we come back. Well done. That's some drawing right there. <laughs> My God, man, that was... Attention over there. Hopefully nobody ends back up in it. Welcome back to the classroom. Today, we have the students and teachers from Motivation. I love that name, high school in Southwest Philly. Teachers are in the lead right now, but can they stay there for the remainder of the game? We're going to jump into some extra credit right here. Mike Well, we asked this question. What branch of mathematics uses letters and symbols to represent numbers and quantities? Mike Well, you said? Algebra. Algebra is right. Boom. I'm telling you, it's the comeback. He's starting it right here. Mr. Jackson, you said. We said algebra. There you go. Okay, English teachers. We love that. Now, Mike, well, if you guys win that check, first of all, you're going to get a big old check. I hope you have a big car because we're gonna, you're taking it home with you. But $500 to go home with you. What are you going to do with it? I'm going to use it for senior activities for the school. Yeah. Nice. Okay, yeah, the cheerleaders are like, hopefully they give it to us out there. We heard you. All right, well, good. That's $500. It could play a long way. And teachers, how about you? Uh, we decided we're going to use the money for a multimedia center. That's a great place to put it. I'll tell you what, both sides, $500 will go a long way. Now, we talked about that car you were in, Mike Well. Do you ever sing in your car? Uh, no, nah, I don't do that. Oh, you might stink at this next game then. Hopefully, you can figure it out. <laughs> because 
we're in music class and we're testing your knowledge of song lyrics. I'm going to ask a question related to a popular song, old or new, then Mike Jarek from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia is going to read a small portion of the lyrics. The first person to buzz in correctly answer my question will win 10 points for their team. If you buzz in, you get it incorrect. Your side's locked out. The other side can jump in and steal the points. Three sets of lyrics today. Let's jump into this round with this question. What rock band sings these lyrics in a 2017 Billboard Hot 100 hit? Mike Jarek, take it away. All right, here we go. Here's your first one. Oh, woo. I'm a rebel just for kicks now. Let me kick it like it's 1986 now. Might be over now, but I feel it still. Mr. Davis, what are you feeling? Portugal the man. Portugal the man is right, gets you to 160. Oh, Mike, I can hear you singing that in my head, so I'm going to give you this again because I love this next one. What performer sings these lyrics in his 2018 Billboard hit song? And, Mike, this has nothing to do with me and you. All right, here we go. Number two. It's to the point where I love and I hate you. And I cannot change you. So, I must replace you. Huh. Mr. Davis, our human iPod. Juice World. Juice World is right, and he says it with that matter of fact, I'm going to beat those students. Get you to 170 now. This has the possibility to be a one-man sweep. Let's see how well he does with this final question. What performer sings these lyrics in a 2011 song? Mike, make this a good one. And finally, it's Friday. Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. You guys want to know who buzzed in? I bet you can guess. <laughs> Did you say Mr. Davis? Rebecca Black. He got the sweep. That's right. That's all three songs. That's how you do it. Hey, a big thanks to Mike Jarek for that performance. He did a great job. Thanks for being on the show, Mike. It is Friday, Friday, and Rebecca Black was right, which means teachers, you guys have 180. Students, you have 20, but everyone's still in the mix here because we have 300 points up for grabs in this final exam. the top of today's final exam it's map it out just like the students who try to map their way back to an over the top victory over top of these teacher abdul you came up you came on the show do you think you can pull this off definitely you've been that confident you're 12th grader tell everybody where you're going to school next year uh, i'm going to case western reserve for aerospace engineering that is one of the top aerospace engineering schools in the country Abdul, you should be so proud of yourself, man. And all our seniors on this side are going to do great things. But can they start right here with our final exam? I'm going to ask each answer, excuse me, at each question. Each answer you guys get right is going to be 100 points added to your score. You'll work together as a team of three during the commercial break. But first, you're going to hear these questions, and we're going to start with this. Name one country that shares a land border with Italy. Map it out. That's question one. Here's question two. In February 2019, a multiplayer map named Fort Jordan was released for a 2017 video game in what franchise? And finally, the names of two U.S. state capitals begin with the names of a month. Juneau, Alaska, and Augusta, which is the capital of what state? There are your questions. Each team has 60 seconds to talk about it, and that is it. They're going to put their minds together. We're going to go to break, and when we come back, I cannot wait to see if the teachers can hold off these students. But before we go, here is your chance to be a part of the classroom. I want you on here, so get talking to your schools and get here. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Today, students, teachers from Motivation High School going head-to-head. -head. Look at them in the studio right now. They've been playing a great game. 
We learned the topic for today's final exam is map it out. Right now, teachers, you have the slight lead. So let's see if the students can come back and grab the victory right here. We're going to start with this question. Name one country that shares a land border with Italy. Students, what's your answer? Spain. Incorrect. We would have taken France, Switzerland, Austria, or Slovenia. Now, Mr. Corbett, before you show us that answer, if you say any of those trees, you guys are in the lead, you'll take it to 280, and the students cannot come back. So you can win this thing with question number one right here, $500. Did you say one of those four places? We said Switzerland. Switzerland and teachers are winning the game. Come on out here and grab that check. Cheerleaders, get out here. Check, get out here. Hey, the multiplayer game named Fort Jordan. That was Halo. Name two U.S. State Capitals. Be with the names of the month. How about Maine? That was the answer for that one. Thanks for being here in the classroom. Hey, Motivation High School. We'll see you next the fun continues wherever you are. Follow the classroom on social and keep watching. Weeknights at 6.30 p.m. on Fox 29.